Hello viewers, this is Kulsumi Ahmed. Today I'm here with the topic, what is macroeconomics? So this is lecture two of macroeconomics. Let's start with the lecture. First of all, before coming to macroeconomics, we need to understand what is microeconomics. So what is macroeconomics? That is study of collective economy. And what is microeconomics? That is the study of individual parts. So I'm here with the example of a wristwatch. If your wristwatch is showing you the correct time, this is just because every part of internal part of the wristwatch is performing its task to the best. Means if we take out any of these parts, the wristwatch will not be able to show you the correct time. This is why it's important that every individual of your economy should work properly so that your economy can come up with some good results. Now we can say that macroeconomics is a study of aggregates. Macroeconomics is the telescope through which we can see the economy. So with the help of this telescope you can get to know what is the health of your economy. Like if we say what is the health of the economy, uh, we mean to say that the living standard of your country, the education level of your country, the health of your country or the infrastructure of your country should be very good. So why, how could this be good? if your micro activities are very good so you can have a better results so we have uh, in macroeconomics we are going to study about aggregate demand aggregate supply aggregate production aggregate consumption and aggregate expenditures now we have four economic agents like your consumers producers government and foreigners because if there are no consumers we need not to do any production because consumption should be there for a production and if we have consumers and producers, then who is going to make the laws? So that is the work of government. Government is going to facilitate you to do the consumption and productions. And if we have three of these but we don't have foreigners, how would we come up with the production? So definitely we need to have all four agents to run the economy smoothly. Now what, is the, uh, what are the government's main op economic objectives? So who is going to answer these, this question will be the macroeconomics. So macroeconomics is all about the developing strategies. The first one we can say delivering macroeconomic stability, a very broad macroeconomic aim means we need to have stable economy so how would we have a stable economy if our aggregate demand is equal to aggregate supply we will say we have stability if your exports are equal to imports we will say that we have stability if your earnings and spendings are equal it means we have stability so for having stability it is important to have a very strong macroeconomic policies then meeting the productivity challenges it's also a supply side target so we uh, your god it, it is the responsibility of your government to come up with the production enough production to meet the needs of the people the same way we need to have increased employment opportunities so this is going to happen in labor market so uh, how could you increase employment opportunities it means you need to fix every person to get some to earn something like uh, you need to create jobs you need to create opportunities for the people so that they could come up with some production and they could come up with some earnings and they could create demand uh, so that the producers could produ do the production so the things will go in a line so the same way you need to have ensuring fairness for families and communities so bringing equity is also your objective like it should not happen that the people who are in metropolitan cities they are enjoying their life to the fullest but the people who are living in interiors they are deprived so you need not to do this so then protecting the environment now having green environment is also the task of your economy like it should not happen that you are doing production at the cost of environmental pollution so uh, you, you are not supposed to do any uh, air pollution water pollution or noise pollution so we are going to have a economic friendly productions so this is also the aim of macroeconomics so this is all about my today's lecture if you like my video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you